here in this video we will see a problem on temperature stress and strain for that we have a question i'll write the data what is given here a square rod 10 mm into 10 mm in cross section so i'll draw the diagram here is the square rod Ten mm into ten mm in cross section. So this gives us the area of the square rod, which is ten into ten and comes out to be hundred mm square. Square rod. Next and thousand mm long. So its length is also given. Is fixed at both the ends. Determine the end reactions due to rise in temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. So delta T is given as 50 degrees Celsius. Take Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square alpha 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius. So this is the question we have, and here we have to find the end reactions. End reaction I'll denote it by F because it is the force. Now let us try to get the solution for this problem. As it is given that square rod 10 mm into 10 mm in cross section and 1000 mm long is fixed at both the ends. So we can show it in this way. I can explain it with the help of a 3D diagram. Here there is a square rod. And it is fixed at both the ends. So we can see that. this square rod is being fixed at both the ends so it means there is a wall to which this square rod has been attached similarly it would be fixed at this end as well So here is the diagram of the square rod which is being fixed at both the ends. So I'll write down fixed at both ends. Next it is given that determine the end reactions due to rising temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Now what will happen is here there is a square rod it is being heated square rod is being heated and since it has modulus of elasticity and alpha values that is coefficient of thermal expansion and contraction square bar will try to elongate so if suppose here is this square bar and when after the heat has been applied, it will try to expand. So this is called as the free expansion of this steel bar, which is delta L. But since here we are having walls on both the sides which are avoiding the free expansion of the square rod. So because of that, the stresses are developed in the square bar and the nature of the stresses would be compressive because it is avoiding the expansion of the square rod so here the compressive forces are acting over the square bar and that is nothing but the reaction force f and that is what we have to calculate here so when the concept is understood we can easily start solving the problem its original length is l now 
here we have to find the end reactions so the first step is first i'll get the free expansion i'll say that since the square rod will expand freely before it is being fixed so therefore free expansion in the square rod is given by delta l is equal to alpha into delta t multiplied by l so therefore delta l is equal to alpha value is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 given in the question delta t is 50 and the length of this square bar is 1000 mm so from this i will get the free expansion my answer is 0 0.6 mm so from this it is understood that this square bar would have been freely expanded by 0 0.6 mm if there were no supports no wall but here in this case since the walls are present so because of them the free expansion is prevented so after this i'll write down that since because of the square rod being fixed on both the sides therefore the free expansion is completely prevented so therefore thermal stresses and strains will be developed in the square bar so now i'll write down since thermal strain or we can say temperature strain is given by small e is equal to alpha into delta t this is the formula of thermal strain so here alpha is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 and the temperature change is 50 so from this i'll get the answer of thermal strain and it is 6 into 10 raised to minus 4 now after getting the thermal strain now i will get the value of thermal stress so therefore i'll say that thermal stress is given by the formula of thermal stress that is sigma is equal to stress into young's modulus and this has come from by hooke's law so therefore i'll get the value of temperature stress temperature strain was 6 into 10 raised to minus 4 young's modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5 so from this i'll get the answer of stress that is 120 newton per mm square this is the thermal stress which is developed in the square rod so now as we have to find the value of f that is a reaction which is offered by the wall so for that we had calculated the thermal stress now we will use the concept of stress is equal to load upon area that is i can say that since stress is given by sigma is equal to load upon area here the load is the reaction which is offered by the wall so therefore f that is the reaction is equal to stress into area so now f is equal to 
stress it was 120 area was 100 so from this f is 12 into 10 raised to 3 newton or we can say 12 kilo newton so now i can say that once the value of f is known this much is the reaction which is offered by the wall which is avoiding the free expansion of the square rod so i'll say that hence the reaction offered by the wall is 12 kilo newton which will produce compressive stress in the square rod and this reaction will also prevent the free expansion of the square rod so as we have seen in this video they had told us to calculate the end reaction due to the rise in temperature of 50 degrees celsius and we have found out the end reactions which is offered by the wall and that value is 12 kilo newton because of that there will be compressive stress developed in the square rod and these values of reaction will avoid the free expansion of the square rod because of that compressive stress will be developed and with this we complete the question